Uh, now I'd like to ask you about what is um, important to know about Uruguay. You mentioned about the beef that is well known in the world. But is there anything else that is really important to know about Uruguay? Yes, of course. Uh, we Traditionally, we are associated with uh, the beef, with the cow meat, because uh, historically, until one or two years ago, when the soy succeed and have the first uh, position, um, beef was our main uh, export in the world. We sell very um, high level cuts of meat, which are uh, demanded mostly in the European Union, for example. Um, we are the higher consumer per capita of beef in the world. Uh, we have uh, 40 million of cows, more or less, in Uruguay. So the meat is very important for us. It's one of our, not only important economically, but also important uh, culturally because of the consumption of meat, the importance that we have uh, for Uruguayans. Um, we are also very well known about football. F being a small country, we have incredible uh, football success. Uh, two World Cups, the first one organized in our country, um, 15 American Cups, more than Argentina and Brazil, um, five World Cups of, of clubs. So the football is extremely important. The Uruguayans leave football in a so exciting way that is almost unbelievable. Nowadays, for example, with the World Cup, uh, the country is paralyzed. Maybe this will change because we are already eliminated, but until we were eliminated, uh, the country is completely absorbed by the Football World Cup. Uh, we are an um, important country, let's say in natural terms. Our trademark is Uruguay Natural, Natural Uruguay. We offer for tourism, for services, as a country where the um, well, uh, conditions to live uh, are in a high standard, like a, uh, you can live in Uruguay uh, in a peaceful way, with, in a very less contamin in a very few contaminated country, and this is very important. I would like to ask you about the policy of Uruguay when it comes to because we mentioned about interesting facts about Uruguay, and uh, I can recall an information that um, Uruguayan children um, participate in the project that is called One Laptop Per, per Child. Uh, could you tell us about more uh, more about this project? Yes, yes of course. Uh, this is this was a, a very interesting project, one laptop per child, which was uh, would begin uh, in the last period of government in 2006, 2007, and the idea of the project is to give um, to all childs that are attending uh, public schools uh, one laptop for free, and this laptop which are called Seibalitas in Uruguay, uh, is given to each child and they, the laptop is from their own. I mean, they use it in the school, but they al also use it uh, in their houses, in their free time. So last, uh, this year or last year, I don't remember exactly now, uh, President Mujica uh, gave uh, the laptop one million to one of the child, which they are also given in the preschool uh, system. And the idea of the project is to uh, reduce the, let's say, the we call in Spanish brecha digital, like the digital difference. So everyone, um, regardless of the economic condition of the class they, they belong, they can have the opportunity to have a laptop, to be in internet, so to be uh, actualized and to be in the world. So in the future, our um, the kids that now are six, seven, that are in the school will have more opportunities than in the past. Will be more ready to access to the more increasingly competitive uh, economical market, job market, in this sense. So this program, uh, we are very proud of this. Have been very successful, and the program is continuing. Uh, now, is uh, the laptops are given now are the third uh, kind of laptop because the the program is all the time is uh, improving. The laptops are better than before, the systems of knowledge, because also the teachers have laptops, and so all the system is developing and continuing, uh, and it doesn't depend on any government. Every government, all the Uruguayan society is supporting this project.